Hi Capricorn, it's Elle here to do your April mid general reading. Hope that everyone is having a really good start to spring, the April month. I have shuffled and prayed over the cards off camera. I give the cards a quick shuffle and then we get started. Um, we'll start out with love and then we'll move into career and home and so forth. If you would like to contact me for a personal reading, all the information is below in the description box, all right? Well, so let's get started. Put them back. All right, Capricorn. What are the love messages for Capricorn? True, accurate messages for Capricorn. Messages of love and light. Messages to guide and govern their lives. Messages for Capricorn. Okay, if they come back out, we'll put them, we'll have them, if they come back out. Mm -hmm. bottom of the deck paid to fire mm -hmm. so maybe you could be dealing with children or immature fire sign or message just comes in all right let's let's go all right gemini love card came up in reverse the lovers in reverse someone is refusing just will not make a decision wow and then the two of air crosses it the decision card, um, Sun and Libra. I don't know if that means anything for you. Maybe some of you are dealing with a Libra, but someone refuses to make the decision. They know that they need to make a decision. This is mental energy, uh, but the lovers is in reverse. Like they're not making it. Decision about love, um, about business. Let's see. The basis for all this energy is the nine of fire. Someone's been through a lot. As you can see, the, the lady in this card is evaluating um, uh, evaluating this uh, this lantern of fire. Evaluating the, the drama, the burden, the eight of wands. Uh, as to, to say, do I go back in this? Do I want this? Or do I just want to go ahead and go to the ten of wands and lay down the burden? Because it's become way too too much for me. So somebody's evaluating here. Fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Presently, your energy is the two of fire. So like some of you know Capricorn that you, you some of you are actively moving to, uh, you know, a new path. You know that this is going to alter, you know, your whole world, but you, you're actively making that decision. Or you have a fire sign in your life who's doing that. They're moving away from and there's the fire sign, the page of fire. Maybe a message came in that either made you um, have to make this decision or there's a fire sign doing this in regards to, you know, you. The recent past and the six of earth. Some of them, you may have needed charity. You have get you or you gave charity to someone around you. Some of you could have problems in your marriage, second marriage, second relationship. Doesn't have to be second, but sometimes this is that. Uh, some of you uh, could have uh, received a large sum of money, um, a, a payout, six of pentacles in the recent past, or anticipating one. Six of air going forward in the near future. Nice. Moving away from the drama, the chaos. Some of you are actually traveling, moving. Uh, definitely getting getting to a more calm, peaceful place in your life. Could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Your energy is the nine of earth. Like you're good. You're you know, you want the ten of pentacles. I think we all do. Um, but you you're okay alone. You've mastered being by yourself. That's why you know what you want when it comes along, and, and you're definitely open to partnership. 
you also could have received a, a large sum of money, six of pentacles, um, that puts you at the nine of pentacles type of energy, you know. External to you, the king of fire. Some of you are definitely dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. External to you, Capricorn. Um, someone who is all about their wants, their desires, their passion. They're very passionate about whatever it is that is going on for them at that moment. Um, they get what they want. They go after things. They're entrepreneurs. They're go-getters. They're charismatic. They're attractive. They're seductive. External to you is the fire uh, fire sign. Uh, hopes and fears. Three of fire. Some of you are anticipating travel, maybe, or you are traveling to see someone or, or, or vice versa. Some of you, your fear is to have to leave behind an already established situation and just, you know, chart a new path alone. As you can see, this lady is in that, that boot alone. Um, the outcome, the queen of water. Some of you are going to use your intuition. You're open to receiving love and giving love. Um, some of you could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer in particular. What is the queen of water? Patience, temperance. Some of you dealing with Sagittarius. Um, you need to uh, get your emotions back in balance with the queen of water and temperance. Something's off for you. Queen of air. I right, got two queens here. I think these are people external to you, but affecting your energy. Uh... Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is Gemini, particular Capricorn. You might, my Capricorn man might be dealing with two women. All right, King of Water. Yeah, one of these women is the other woman. Maybe you're coming up with the King of Water, Capricorn. Um, good father, good, good, good lover, romantic, good husband. Um, wears his emotions very well feels deeply it's like still waters run deep like they've mastered emotion you could be my capricorn man could be that my capricorn women can be that too ace of fire on the six of air some of you are moving towards something because there's passion there's desire there's oh the message the page of, of fire the message, the page, the page of fire came in. That message came in, and, and it it made you move toward. Hey, you know, I'm tired of maybe the five of of uh, five of air, or the fighting, the arguing, the indecision, and now I'm going to move toward just having peace and quiet in my life. What is the nine of fire? Page of fire comes back out. Yeah, that might be. Yeah, you have to, you're evaluating what's going on with you. Um, yeah, this is, um, it looks like you're just trying to move away from a certain situation, Capricorn. Well, who is the king of fire? Seven of earth, nine of air. I think you're you're thinking about this king of fire, how much you've invested. They bring you a lot of anxiety because you know that they're a liar, they're a cheat. I think the last reading was the master manipulator, and I think they're still doing that. But now you're you're trying to evaluate what it is you want to do in this relationship. Uh, who is the two of fire? Is that Capricorn? Is that someone external to Capricorn? Messenger of fire. All right, so maybe this, this fire sign is, you know, the player. They're in and out. They're a liar. They get what they want. They're all about their wants. Um, they may be choosing to chart a new path. All right, what's the six of earth? What's the six of earth? The world. There's problems or there were problems in this relationship, this marriage. It might need to come to an end. It might even have been toxic. You've gone as far as you can go in this situation. 
Right. Justice. Some of you might be divorcing. Maybe an air sign. Trying to get to a water sign. Fire sign is just all kinds of crazy. Just they just doing their thing. You got to make the decision. Do you want to? Or maybe they're making the decision for you, Capricorn. Maybe they don't want to play ball anymore. So, um, yeah. You got to think about that. Um, all right. So, let's move this thing right along. Let's just see if we can pull some... Uh, Career and finance messages. Career and finance messages for Capricorn. Messages to govern and guide their career and financial life. Messages of clarity and light. Thank you, thank you, thank you for messages for Capricorn. Four of spades. Crossing at the six of heart. Some of you are taking a break from someone who you feel is your your uh, soulmate some of you have received some charitable contribution from someone maybe an air sign gemini Libra, aquarius you're at the nine of spades this is the energy of the you know this move in the entire read low energy Anxiety, negativity, currently you're the five of hearts, you're just feeling left out, lost, some of you are in third party situations, some of you are hesitating before actually making a decision, in the recent past, the jack of spade, jack of diamond, okay, three of diamond, okay, legal problems, a dishonest, disloyal distrustworthy person could be an offer though an offer of a solid offer maybe in regards to these legal issues or legal problems Let me pull one more card on that two all right yeah that would there might have been a capricorn virgo tourist that was dishonest disloyal just distrustworthy um, you regret not saying things or regret saying things in regards to this person. Or or maybe they did. But whatever it was, it, it, it resulted in an ending. In every, maybe you and the other person being disappointed. I'm trying to get some career and finance. Um, Going forward, the King of Hearts, open to love. Um, you have emotions underway. You know, at uh, got them at, you know, on check or at got yourself in check. Your power is a Seven of Pentacles. Nice um, expectancy. The air of expectancy. You you you've invested somewhere or you, yeah, you've invested either like physically monetarily invested in something or you've invested energy time maybe to this lawsuit uh, or legal issues you're expecting good news surprise news it could even be baby news if not for you someone else external to you is the queen of and we had the king in the last for the, the queen of wands aries sagittarius leo attractive, seductive, and entrepreneur. They're all about their wants and what they want, what they're passionate about, hopes and fears. Definitely fear the jack of club. But in this deck, this is the reliable friend. So you're definitely you're hoping for that reliable, maybe a uh, fire sign to come through. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. I'm going to take both of these because they fell face down. Three of spades. Oh, there's three. Uh, someone offering love, Jack of Hearts, Ace of Diamond. It looks like there's a divorce, a separation. If if you want to relate this to career and finance, then there's a divorce. There's um, there was separation from maybe a job. Uh, 
you're waiting for legal something legal to happen within that separation it looks like the news will come to you it is happening for you if this is love there is an act of divorce here um with the three of spades divorce due to infidelity caution in relationship separation and then there might be a water sign cancer pisces scorpio offering love or you're offering love to a water sign but i think it's yeah you're offering something stable i, I feel like you want to be somewhere else ace of diamond engagement moving things to the next level moving in with somebody making a large purchase um starting something foundational um and this could be a business separation from the old job and now you get to do what you love and monetize it Let's get some butterfly oracle cards out here. Give us some additional messages of support. One and thank you for the messages for Capricorn. Some additional support, supportive messages for Capricorn. Okay. All right, relationship dynamics. Definitely, we saw that someone has either entered, exit the relationship uh someone's changed you change you grew they grew they didn't grow you grew um the relation the dynamics of the relationship have changed because the di because outside influence inside influence uh inside with inside of yourself with inside of the relationship the dynamics have changed and a lot of times when the dynamics of a relationship change we try to roll with the punches and we try not to focus on the fact that things have changed. We just keep trying to go on and to go on, go on to get along and hang on when we need to really um, clue in on the fact that things have changed. So I feel different about the change. So I need to now um, come to a conclusion about um, what I need to do with this relationship. All right. With somebody Capricorn. Stop ignoring it. That's all I keep hearing. Stop ignoring. Stop ignoring the change. It's changed. Be yeah. Let me tell you something. God is good. That's all I don't want to say. Uh relationship dynamics and be true to you. Be true to you. You keep ignoring stuff, thinking that this is the way to go maybe because you saw other people do it you feel like maybe it'll change back whatever it may be um you feel like okay well i can do this these cards are telling you maybe you can't and and things that maybe have changed a long time ago and you're the one that just like well i'm just gonna hang in there but it looks like in one in one of those spreads the other person's like they're ready for change and they're ready to make the the change you better get on get on the boat now don't miss the damn boat get on the boat they done told you what time the boat leaving and you keep lollygagging get on the boat self-care and that was definitely for you because it was facing you not me self-care i mean these go hand in hand all three of them bottom of the deck courage yeah definitely have the courage, be courageous, and making and, and going through this change and instituting this change. Um, be courageous in going through maybe a divorce. Uh, be courageous in choosing to choose yourself and be true to you and care for yourself and put yourself first. You might put yourself on the back burner for such a long time to the point where, you know, you just got used to it. You got used to being unhappy and unfulfilled. And somebody else woke up and was like, well, I'm unhappy and unfulfilled. And they started to do their own thing. And you was like, well, I'll just keep on being unhappy and unfulfilled and keep being here because maybe it served me financially. Maybe it served me emotionally. Maybe I'm just used to it. I'm content here. But these cards and this energy is telling you, like, evaluate this. Evaluate it on some level. And have the courage to make the change or at least 
except that things have changed so now you must change the only constant is change the only thing that changes people is change change changes people think that reading a book will change you this that what, what will change you is change okay let some change come in your life you start thinking about how you need to be different so anyway Capricorn is for you I hope that it resonated I hope that you took something from it you got something from it I just keep hearing like it's, it's different it's changed you know you keep ignoring it you keep ignoring stuff don't ignore it you could die tomorrow and then you'd be dead in spirit form thinking about how you didn't do all the things you wanted to do that's how I think about stuff like when when I am completely fed up I'm like you know what I could, I could die tonight in this horrible ass relationship you know what uh -uh, not me I'm dying happy mm -mm. so Capricorn if you would like to reach me for a personal reading all of my information is below in the description box remember Capricorn I'm praying for you pray for me as well um, I'll see you in May guys alright take care